Hello and welcome to Art History Around the World with me, Maura Brooke. Please send any pictures of your child's artwork to my email. I'd love to see what you're working on in and out of class. Last time we got together, we learned about totem poles from the First Nations people of Canada and Alaska. And now we are going to be learning about Haida art, which is the style of art you see on totem poles. You see hidden pictures and geometric shapes with black and red lines, and that makes up the Haida style. You'll see it on these giant houses in these Haida or First Nations villages. You're not just going to see these on totem poles and paintings, you are going to see these images around the town. You'll generally see geometric shapes and you'll see hidden pictures within larger pictures as well as bright colors, but mostly you'll see black and red featured. Now, they're not just outside of the house. You're going to be walking in the house and seeing Haida art on every wall carved into every furniture piece. Now, we're going to look at some pieces where you're going to see a hidden image inside of a larger image. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you see. And sometimes you're not going to see an image inside an image. You are going to see an image surrounding an image. I'll give you a clue. Look at this frog's feet. What animal do they look like? Some examples are going to be more obvious where you see a turtle with a literal face inside. But you're going to see a lot of other examples where it's more subtle, such as these smiling shapes in red that you see around the fox's body. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a shape of an animal to trace, and we're going to be putting Haida designs inside the shape of these animals. Now, I have a killer whale, I have a turtle, and if you'd like to use a different shape, or draw your own, or trace your own, feel free to. I'd love to see what you could come up with. We also have a picture of these giant houses. I'd love to see you make your own picture of a giant house with one of these designs, or a few of these designs that you see on the house. Now, some of them have swooping lines. Some of these shapes look a little more like sushi, but it's interesting because you can mix and match and get your own look. Now, some of my younger students, if you'd like to take your handprint and then make cool Haida designs inside, I'd love to see what you could come up with. Check out the description for specific projects geared towards each age group, as well as reference links to help you make your beautiful artwork. Tune in next week where we continue to travel the globe and find new artwork in new styles from new cultures.